Uh, every once in a while I find a few people that have worked here. This is the previous uh, uh, mine site. It was an open pit iron ore uh, mine. It started back in the 1950s. And uh, it's basically not been fully operational since the late 1980s. A little bit of mining happened, uh, a little bit of milling, I should say, happened in the mill in the mid-1990s. We were able to purchase the mill uh, back in about 2008. And the first thing we did was uh, put a lot of time and effort into cleaning the mill up. So a lot of the mine waste had been left uh, over all those years. And we spent about $3 million uh, cleaning up the site and demoing all the equipment on the inside. So now this building is an empty shell. So uh, what we're proposing to do is bring in our ore here. It will be milled. We'll have two lines. We'll have a line that will create a copper concentrate and another line that will create a nickel concentrate. So that's, that will be it for our products. Um, copper, a powdered form of copper and a powdered form of nickel. From there, we'll put that um, concentrate on the rail car, and that rail car will go to um, uh, a smelter. And there's other metals that the smelter then will be pulled out since there's other metals that Gold, the silver, and platinum will be leaving with those ores? Correct. Yeah, the, so there's a little bit of um, cobalt, which is the next highest metal, platinum, palladium, a little bit of gold, and uh, that will be uh, separated out actually in the refining process. Uh, the kale, kales, uh, so all the leftover um, rock uh, will be deposited here. This is the old um, open pit iron ore mine that over the years has filled with water. In the 1990s, it was used by another mining company as a tailings facility. And for our tailings, um, uh, for uh, sulfide that has sulfide bearing material, subaqueous uh, uh, storage of those tailings is actually considered one of the best practices. And so we will we'll deposit our tailings underwater here in the pit. Inside, you can see we've removed all the equipment. And one of the pictures over here in our uh, informational graphs, uh, there is a picture of the mill before that uh, equipment was uh, are removed. You want to see what it looks like. So we've been able to put new lighting in and painted the beams and uh, getting ready to put new equipment in. As I mentioned, this is the old um, open pit iron ore mine that's now filled with water. Previous mining companies have uh, put their tails in the bottom of the pit, which is this level here. So this is filled with tailings from previous mining activities. And we're, what we're proposing in Eagle is to put um, an additional layer of tailings So what happens naturally, and what's happening, you know, what's happened since uh, the other mining activities, this water naturally drains um, out into the into a wetland, and then eventually into the Escanaba River. And uh, what we're proposing is to control the flow of the water to the wetland, and uh, that way um, we can monitor the water quality, uh, test it, and we'll also build a water treatment plant uh, just in case or for treat for treating the water uh, during that. And we're in the process of building a cutoff wall uh, 